On this Monday and Holy Week, our service of morning prayer begins on page 79. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Uh, come, let us adore him. The Venite, page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 51, verses 1 through 18, beginning on page 656. Psalm 51, verses 1 through 18. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness, and your great compassion blot out my offenses. Wash me through and through from my wickedness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. And so you are justified when you speak, and upright in your judgment. Indeed, I have been wicked from my birth, a sinner from my mother's womb. For behold, you look for truth deep within me, and will make me understand wisdom secretly. Purge me from my sin, and I shall be pure. Wash me, and I shall be clean indeed. Make me hear of joy and gladness, that the body you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. I shall teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from death, O God, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness, O God of my salvation. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Had you desired it, I would have offered sacrifice, but you take no delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O God, you will not despise. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. When the great crowd of Jews learned that Jesus was there, they came, not only on account of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus also to death because, on account of him, many of the Jews were going away and believing in Jesus. The next day, a great crowd who had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. And Jesus found a young ass and sat upon it, as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, your king is coming, sitting on an ass's colt. His disciples did not understand this at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that this had been written on him of him and he had had done to and had been done to him 
The crowd that had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the womb and raised him from the dead bore witness. The reason why, they, why the crowd went to meet him was that they heard he had done this sign. The Pharisees then said to one another, you see, you can do nothing. Look, the word has gone after him. The world has gone after him. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Zechariah, page 92. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The prayers, beginning on page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We continue in our prayers in this holy week with the supplication on page 154. O Lord, arise, help us. And deliver us for thy name's sake. O God, we have heard with our ears, and our fathers have declared unto us the noble works that thou didst in their days and in the old time before them. O Lord, arise, help us, and deliver us for thy name's sake. Glory be to the Father, and, and to, to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Ghost, Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, and, and ever shall be, world, world without end. Amen. Amen. O Lord, arise, help us, and deliver us for thy name's sake. From our enemies defend us, O Christ. Graciously behold our afflictions. With pity behold the sorrows of our hearts. Mercifully forgive the sins of thy people. Favorably with mercy hear our prayers. O Son of David, have mercy upon us. Both now and ever vouchsafe to hear us, O Christ. Graciously hear us, O Christ. Graciously hear us, O Lord Christ. Let us pray. We humbly beseech thee, O Father, mercifully to look upon our infirmities, and for the glory of thy name, turn us from all those evils that we most justly have deserved, and grant that in all our troubles we may put our whole trust and confidence in thy mercy, and evermore serve thee in holiness and pureness of living, to thy honor and glory, through our only mediator and advocate, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Amen. 
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.